Please be seated. Good morning. 100 years ago today, we were 71 days into the Battle of Passchendaele. Any hope that a war was going to end quickly by this time had been completely dashed. People, men, soldiers from both sides came in goodwill to fight for their cause, one that they believed to be right. But today, 100 years on, we bring together students from the Hierarchal School in Sedgley with students from the Academy of English in Germany to this faithful place. We come to remember, yeah, but we're also here as an act of reconciliation. The 100 years on, after Britain and Germany went to war, it was possible for us today to come together as one. We come together not as enemies, uh, but as friends. The school children come from a place called Oldenburg, whose honorary citizen is a man by the name of Karl Jaspers. Jaspers, himself a victim of later war, said in German this, Was geschah ist eine Warnung, Sie zu vergessen ist Schuld. Es war möglich, dass dies geschah und es bleibt jederzeit möglich. Nur durch das Wissen kann es verhindert werden. In English, what happened is a warning. And to forget it is guilt. It was possible for this to happen. And it remains possible for it to happen at any minute. Only through knowledge through understanding, can it be prevented from happening again? And that's why we're here. We're here to remember those who fell from Wolverhampton, from the West Midlands, and from further afield. But also to reconcile that we have the strength to come together, remember, not forget, but learn. Thank you. I shall now move towards the prayers and the Padre now will cite the prayers. Father of all, remember your holy promise and look with love on all your people, living and departed. On this day, we especially ask that you would hold forever all who suffered during the First World War and at the Battle of Passchendaele, those who returned scarred by warfare, those who waited anxiously at home, and those who returned wounded and disillusioned, those who mourned, and those communities that were diminished and suffered loss. Remember, too, those who acted with kindly compassion, those who bravely risked their own lives for their comrades, and those who, in the aftermath of war, worked tirelessly for a more peaceful world. And as you remember them, remember us, O Lord. Grant us peace in our time and the longing for the day when people of every language, race and nation will be brought into the unity of Christ's kingdom. This we ask in the name of the same Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.
I shall now call on uh, Lyndon Purnell from the Royal British Legion to cite the Kahima Epitaph and the Royal British Legion exhortation. Gentlemen, please, gentlemen. Honoured guests, ladies and gentlemen, these words are written on the Kohima Epitaph. When you go home, tell them of us and say, for your tomorrow we gave our today. I will now read the Royal British Legion exhortation. They shall not grow not old, as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun, and in the morning, we will remember them. We will, we will remember, remember them. Thank you. We now move on to, after about two minutes silence, uh, war poetry, which plays a huge role 
in our schools up and down the land, but also in Germany. Reading today's poems that were written by a local woman, Mrs. Eileen Ward Birch, in English, reflects Passchendaele, all of its horrors, but also remembrance. And on that note, I would like to ask Caitlin Hoyland from the High Alpha School to come forward and to read the poem in the square. In the square. Quietly, we stand in the square, waiting for the time to come when the Padre leads us in prayer for those who have gone on before. <laughs> Bells ring out, the time is here. Last post sounds and silence reigns. We stop and think of lives so dear, those who never will return. Standards lowered to the ground, stillness spreads across the earth. A child's shrill cry echoes around, crying for they know not what. Reveille breaks the quiet time. Two minutes past in thought have fled as bells begin to chime. The act of remembrance is done. And a poem also written by Eileen will now be read by Matthias Klauke from the Academy of English, entitled as our services today, Passion Day. Passion The guns boomed out. Rain fell day and night. Mud pulled the soles of our boots. We marched on. Rain fell day and night. Sludge oozed into our boots. Cannon echoed towards mighty voice. Rain fell day and night. Mud covered our knees. Men drowned in slime. We struggled to march over dead comrades. Rain fell day and night. Mud reached up to our boat. We could not move, yet move we must. The whistles still sounded, the guns still walled. Rain for day and night. Over the top we went, rain for day and night. Still we kept our ammo dry. Uh, finally, I will now ask Greater Gazang from the Academy of English to come forward and read the Totengedenken in German. Greater? Totengedenken. Wir denken heute an die Opfer von Gewalt und Krieg, an Kinder, Frauen und Männer aller Völker. Wir gedenken der Soldaten, die in den Weltkriegen starben, der Menschen, die durch Kriegshandlung oder danach in Gefangenschaft als Vertriebene und Flüchtlinge ihr Leben verloren. Wir gedenken derer, die verfolgt und getötet wurden, weil sie einem anderen Volk angehörten, einer anderen Rasse zugerechnet wurden, Teil einer Minderheit waren oder deren Leben wegen einer Krankheit oder Behinderung als lebensunwert bezeichnet wurde. Wir gedenken derer, die ums Leben kamen, weil sie Widerstand gegen Gewaltherrschaft geleistet haben und derer, die den Tod fanden, weil sie an ihrer Überzeugung oder an ihrem Glauben festhielten. Wir trauen um die Opfer der Kriege und Bürgerkriege unserer Tage, um die Opfer von Terrorismus und politischer Verfolgung, um die Bundeswehrsoldaten und anderen Einsatzkräften, die im Auslandseinsatz ihr Leben verloren. Wir gedenken heute auch derer, die bei uns durch Hass und Gewalt gegen Fremde und Schwache Opfer geworden sind. Wir trauen mit allen, die Leid tragen um die Toten und teilen ihren Schmerz. Aber unser Leben steht im Zeichen der Hoffnung auf Versöhnung unter den Menschen und Völkern und unsere Verantwortung gilt im Frieden unter den Menschen zu Hause und in der ganzen Welt. We pray for all who serve in the armed forces. 
God of justice and of peace, whose strength is our protection and whose love our sure defence. Be with those who, in this troubled world, maintain the security of our nations and protect the values we cherish. Keep safe those who serve in our armed forces and who risk their lives on land and sea and in the air. May the fruits of their courage and eternal vigilance be peace, prosperity and freedom from fear for all your peoples. This we ask through Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. We pray for Her Majesty the Queen. Almighty God, whose Son Jesus Christ exchanged the glory of a heavenly throne for the form of a servant, we thank you that you have given Elizabeth, our Queen, a heart to serve her people and have kept her devoted in this service beyond all who were before her. Encourage us by her example to serve one another and to seek the common good until you call us all to reign with Christ in your eternal kingdom. Amen. May God grant to the living grace, to the departed rest, to the Church, the Queen, the Commonwealth, and all humanity, peace and concord, and to us and all his servants, life everlasting. Amen. We shall now move on to the replaying part of the service. It's my great pleasure um, to ask the Deputy Lord Lieutenant, Dr. Keith Bradshaw, to lay his wreath. And now on behalf of the City of Wolverhampton, Mayor and Mayoress of the City of Wolverhampton, Councillor Liz Matu and Mrs. Asha Matu. ancient title that goes back centuries, the High Sheriff of the West Midlands, John Hudson. Moving to the school children, a wreath made of different flowers of cornflower, of poppies. So remember those 
from Britain and from Germany, I'm going to ask Korosh Nasieli from the Academy of English to lay his wreath. On behalf of the Hierarchal School, Tom Dernal will now lay his wreath on behalf of all of the students and staff at the Hierarchal School in Sedgley. Also, on behalf of the Academy of English in Germany, Julian Schriebel will now lay his wreath. On behalf of all teachers from both the Academy of English in Germany and the Hierarchal School in Sedgley, but also to remember the sacrifice of teachers in the Great War, I will now ask Amelie Schwedhelm to place her wreath. That concludes the official wreath laying ceremony. If there are people who have wreaths with them and wish to lay them, I'd kindly ask that this is done after the mayor has spoken. It gives me great pleasure now to invite the mayor to the microphone, Councillor Elias Matu from the city of Wolverhampton. Mr. Mayor. High Sheriff of the West Midlands, Deputy Lord Lieutenant Keith Bradshaw, Padre, fellow councillors, ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you for your attendance this morning. And I also want to thank, pay a special tribute to our young people who are setting a fine example for us. We know that history is full of wars, but it's not the war that we celebrate. We are celebrating the end of the wars. We are celebrating not war, but the lessons that we managed to learn from the war. And the young people, from both from Germany and from Britain, are showing us the path. Pupils from German and English schools, the high arc of school, England and the Academy of English and Germany. I want to really thank you on behalf of the Council and from the bottom of my heart for the work that you are doing for humanity. Once again, I want to thank you for your attendance and please enjoy your day, which go back to work, and uh, and um, some of my guests will be joining me 
in the, in the maid parlor, and uh, the others are free to go. And uh, thank you once again. Have a good day. Thank you very, very much. That concludes the proceedings of the fourth Anglo-German Act of Remembrance and Reconciliation here in the centre of Wolverhampton. I shall now ask the Parade Marshal to lead off the standard bearers. They will be followed by teachers and students of the High Arthur School and, of course, not to forget, our civic leaders. Parade Marshal. Standard bearers, carry standards.